Good morning, Good morning dirty little sunshine. sunshine. <laughs> Here's the Fairfield Inn in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. We have a fucking bear issue, okay? Um, this lock we put on yesterday, brand fucking new one got. And uh, the night before, was it the night before or two nights two before? Nights before? Two nights before he had broken her old lock and spilled the shit everywhere. So we went and got that new, new lock, put that on there. Bear came back last night and ripped it open. And now... We have ripped out the shelves and everything in there. I mean, this isn't even half of what was here. <coughs> they have an issue here at Steve Boat Springs. And these fucking garbage cans that they have around the motel, they've all been torn into like every fucking morning. So get your shit together, Fairfield Inn, man. We can't be doing this every fucking morning. And feathers relies on this fucking food. So can't have it. Uh, but that's a nice battle scar on your fucking wagon, that's for sure. <laughs> Putting this boy to work. <laughs> Doing man things. Yeah, the bear fucked up this top, the top lock and ripped this off. So luckily we had bought an extra one yesterday at Ace. So yeah, now we gotta move this other one over because we can't reuse those holes, obviously. And all of this is probably gonna have to get, I don't know, he made it pretty loose. He cracked the whole frame of this thing. But at least it didn't break it off. It could have been it could have been worse. He did eat like five dollars worth of ramen noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Little bastard. <laughs> All right, got the new one installed. Fucking no more bears. Get into that one. There's gonna be a better system though because a bear just. I mean, I don't know how big that fucking bear was, but obviously it didn't take much effort to rip that fucking thing open. So. Uh, probably just dick around here in the Walmart parking lot. Got me a Diet Coke. I'm in no hurry to get back to the fucking trail. I feel very lazy today and it's hot as balls out. So these fucking Walmart employees over there are looking at us. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> as if we don't draw enough attention to this fucking wagon filming ourselves doing this shit. There's... I need those band aid stickers. Does anybody have uh, band aid stickers? those can they put in the cars they probably sell them at walmart <laughs> i should sell you should paint a um, a bear claw on i that. could just paint the band-aid paint a bear claw on there that'd be cool and then you got the story no stupid idea <laughs> shut up <laughs> shut up richard shut up all right i'm trying to get a uh, little leaf to drink water because she hasn't drank water in like two days so we have a feeling she's not feeling so hot Did she drink any water? Lucy did, I can tell, because it's everywhere. Lucy, drink the rest of that. Got her some Pedialyte. She didn't even drink that last night. Um, her father's made an appointment at a vet that's like an hour away as a precautionary thing if she didn't drink water, but it's been, she had a couple sips last night, but it's literally been like two days without water, so. I'm sure she's fine. Maybe she's just being stubborn, I don't know. All right, well, we're just going to dick around here for a while. Probably only do like 10 miles. Get back to the trail around 2 p.m. or so. We'll do, I got to figure out that closure and make sure I'm on the right fucking trail to get around that. But we're just going to dick around here for a couple hours until I get motivated. Oh, yeah. Feathers have to go to laundromat because, you know, goat shit everywhere. I guess she's waiting for me. <laughs> for it. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. It's all your fault. <laughs> Damn it. That was going to be a good one too. I can feel it like way back in my giblets. 
horse feathers to gain like 20 pounds over the last three days. It's not cool. We went to Taco Bell yesterday, which obviously it didn't really affect me in the slightest, but she ate one fucking, what'd you have? Crunch Wrap Supreme and about fucking killed her. Oh my God. Yeah, your stomach cannot, you can handle crap food when you're on travel, but when you're not hiking and your body's out in need of literally everything, it just like crap food wrecks you like, like a normal fast food restaurant would any day of the week. I can't eat McDonald's or any of that when I'm not on trail yeah. or milk or ice cream, lactose heart. But when I'm on trail, cause your body's so deep deprived of everything, it takes it all and doesn't phase you. Off trail? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I almost died. I was, I was, I was dead. They didn't stop mm -hmm. you from fucking up that champagne last night though. Champagne has nothing to do with junk food. She had this fancy ass champagne with like <laughs> yeah. soaked blackberries in it. <laughs> she got, you think she's giggly yeah, when so she's good. sober and she's seeing when she's fucking buzzed. I know, all my exes used to make me drink wine. I've only seen you that buzz one time when we shared that hotel in Oregon or was it Washington? I don't remember. And you got a bottle of wine and you were fucking bouncing oh, off the walls. Yeah, well I was sad. That was I, I was trying to I was anxious because we were coming up on colors well, on yeah, the I, I get that. spot and I just dude I couldn't come. We back. also went to that and you don't remember this is how drunk you were. <laughs> No, because remember I tried to tell you the story. We went to that bluegrass jam at that outdoor uh, where they had the food trucks. And, uh, I remember that. That I was banned. I tried to tell you the story like a while ago and I you didn't even fucking we've recall. We've just been to so many places I didn't remember. Oh, you were pretty lit that night too. No, I had two beers. I was not lit. Well, you're not a heavy drinker. I'm just drinker. goofy to begin with. You know, so your you tolerance should... is very low, so That's true, two but... beers will get you off the wall. You don't even know. You haven't hung out with me enough to even know that. That's true. <laughs> You drink with me literally twice. <laughs> maybe maybe I should get drunk and you see what I I'm like. I don't know. Not a lot. He almost tricked me last yeah. night. I was like, I, I, taste, I was like, no. She's ready to say yes. Hell she no. realized I'm a fucking alcoholic. And that was pretty not a good idea. Or the Starbucks. Limits. <clears throat> The doggy, is it the doggy? Odul's, the non-alcoholic? What's that doggy Actually, drink? Actually, that's probably not even a good idea. Odul's? No. What's the, what's the point of drinking Odul's? You're not going to get drunk. There's no point in drinking alcohol. And the taste is probably I never drank crazy. alcohol for the taste of it. It was just to get fucked up. It's horrible. So I drank Old Crow whiskey. Blech. It was $8 a fifth. Hey, what? Anyway, okay, so if you put a bottle, an expensive bottle of scotch and a bottle of Old Crow next to each other, after like half a bottle, they both taste the fucking same. <laughs> Hello, may I have a 16 ounce salted caramel cold brew, please? Grande salted caramel cold pong cold brew, sure, what else? Uh, do you want one? No. That'll do it. Lovely, 537, come on up. Grande you. is the only one that doesn't mean large. Congratulations, you're stupid in three languages. <laughs> I think they meant vente. Vente. It means 20 ounces. <laughs> what you Congratulations, you're uh, stupid in three languages. I forget what movie that was. Somebody comment down below what movie that is. It's fucking awesome, though. Isn't that the LARPing? <clears throat> you gonna eat that? Dog food? Yeah. I'll split it with you. You can have it. This is, I mean, it's it's air game fowl recipe. Sounds delicious. 96% poultry ingredients, 4% other wholesome ingredients, which means corn, probably. <sighs> Alright. We'll check back in with you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back on trail, man. Shit. I think Feathers sometimes says my catchphrases better than I do. But Feathers dropped me off back at Muddy Pass. Um, 
First of all, I gotta thank brothers for coming out to vortex me in Steamboat for a few days, triple zero. My body needed it anyway, but since she was there, I would have stayed anyway. So it was uh, amazing hanging out with her for a few days and uh, just talking trail life and being goofy like we do. It's always a good time and I was able to reset my mind while I was in town there with her. So got some new kicks on, ugly ass yellow ultras. She dropped me off in Buddy Pass where I got uh, a hitch in a few days ago. I gotta walk this highway up here to Rabbit Ears Pass. And I believe we're on a trail from there. And then uh, tomorrow, we're gonna start dealing with fire closure. There were some Forest Service Rangers at that at Muddy Pass when we showed up there. They didn't really have a lot of information there. It's out of their jurisdiction. So who the fuck knows, we'll figure it out. Um, well, I think we're about 25 miles from the actual closure. So we'll worry about that tomorrow and we'll get around it somehow when it comes. Didn't get dropped off at the road until about 2.30, so we'll try to get 10 miles in if we can. Find a good place to camp, and we'll start pushing north again tomorrow. Should be in Wyoming in about three or four days, man. Ah, that's gonna be a great, great, great fucking day. I don't know what to show you. Fish Hook Lake right here. My tent's up in those trees right there. I walked down here to grab water at this outlet. And that fucking big ass bull moose just stared at me. Fucking amazing. This is like, that's number like 16 moose I've seen through Colorado. Fucking amazing. A big old bull moose is at that. Well, I'm gonna load up water here, and uh, I might camp fairly early. Did like nine miles. Um, there's another lake about a mile from here, but after I got to this one, I read the comments and it says this camping here is much better. And with a moose like this, I'll take it, man. Um, we'll load up water, we'll get back to camp, and then I'll set up my fly rod. We'll come down here and try to catch some trout, man. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful moose. <laughs> Mofos Camp by Fish Hook Lake. Speaking of which, I got one hooked. Couldn't get him to shore. He got off the line before I could get him on camera for you, but we did hook one fish, which is nice. They were feeding like crazy tonight, hopping all over the fucking pond. Um, and I got to see a moose. I'd say today was a pretty fucking good day. Got to hang out with feathers all, this, all most of the day, and then uh, <laughs> chill and watch a moose for about 20 minutes, and then do some fishing. It was great. Uh, it was an easy nine miles here. Uh, which leaves us about nine miles, I think, to Buffalo Pass. And I think that's where we have to get off for the fire closure. So most likely, I think they have a map posted there at Buffalo Pass. We'll figure it out when we get there. But I'm not too stressed about it. Uh, most likely, I have this camp spot to myself. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock. We're going to cook some dinner because I am starving. And we'll house your fuckers in the morning, man.